Double bar models can be used when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction. The recipe you use to make muffins uses 5 sixths of a cup of flour for each batch of muffins. How many batches of muffins can you make with two and a half cups of flour? So the first thing I need to do is think about what I've got here. And I'm starting out with two and a half cups of flour. I want to take that two and a half cups of flour and break it into groups that are five-sixths of a cup of flour big in size. Okay? So what I'm looking for is how many groups of five-sixths are inside two and a half. When you start with a double bar model, it's important to label each bar. One bar represents each of these fractions. So the first bar is going to be my two and a half total cups of flour. That's the total amount of flour that I have. So what I need to do is I need to show on here two and a half cups of flour. So this rectangle is my first cup of flour, this rectangle is my second cup of flour, and this rectangle is my third cup of flour. But I don't have three whole cups. I only have two and a half cups, so I'm going to break that in half, label it two and a half, and then I'm going to color this in to show how much flour I have. And I have two and a half cups of flour. Now each time I make a batch of muffins, it takes five-sixths of a cup of flour. So the second bar is going to represent my five-sixths cups of flour for each batch of muffins. Okay. Now, the second bar is going to be broken down into sixths because I want to know how many groups of five sixths are inside two and a half. So to make six, it's easiest if you just start with a half and then break each side of that half into three, and that will give you six pieces overall. Now, I'm going to put lines over here just to break this hole into six so that you can see there are six pieces there. But when we do this problem, we're going to stop right here because we only have two and a half cups of flour. Now, we know that each batch of muffins takes five-sixths of a cup of flour. So this question is saying how many groups of five-sixths are in two and a half. So what I need to do is create groups that are five-sixths. So one, two, three, four, five. Right here, this is five-sixths of a cup of flour. And that's going to be my first batch of muffins. Right here, one, two, three, four, five. This is another five-sixths. And that's going to be my second batch of muffins. One, two, three, four, five. That's five-sixths of a cup of flour, and that's going to be my third batch of muffins. So we know, in answer to our question, that there are three groups of five-sixths inside two and a half. And what that means is that you can make three batches of muffins if you have two and a half cups of flour. Let's look at another problem. This one's about cookies. Sarah has three and three-fourths cups of sugar. Each batch of cookies that she makes takes three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And we want to know how many batches of cookies can Sarah make. So again, we're starting with three and three-fourths batch, I'm sorry, three and three-fourths cups of sugar. And we want to break this into groups that are three-fourths of a cup in size. So the question is, how many groups of three and three-fourths, I'm sorry, how many groups of three-fourths are inside three and three-fourths? So this first bar represents my total three and three-fourths cups of sugar. That's the total cups of sugar that I have. 
and I need 3 and 3 fourths. So this first rectangle would be 1 cup of sugar, this is 2 cups of sugar, this is 3, and this is 4. Well, we don't have 4 cups of sugar, we only have 3 and 3 fourths. So I need to break that last cup into fourths, and right here that's 3 and 3 fourths. And to make it really obvious, we'll color this in 1 cup, 2 cups, 3 cups, 3 and a fourth, 3 and 2 fourths, 3 and 3 fourths. Now my second bar tells me the size of the, the cups of flour that I need to make each batch of cookies. So this means 3 fourths of a cup of sugar per batch. And since I'm looking at 3 fourths, I need to break this bottom rectangles into groups that are a fourth, because eventually I'm going to group these fourths into 3 fourths to see how many batches of cookies I can make. So right here, 1, 2, 3, that's 3 fourths of a cup of sugar. That's my first batch of cookies. 1, 2, 3, that's my second batch of cookies. 1, 2, 3, that's another group of 3 fourths, so it's another batch of cookies. 1, 2, 3, another batch of 3 fourths which makes another batch of cookies. And finally, one, two, three. That finishes off all my sugar, and it's my last batch of cookies. So what we can see is there are five groups of three-fourths inside three and three-fourths. So three and three-fourths divided by three-fourths equals five. That means, in the context of our problem, that we could make five batches of cookies.